So the OnePlus 12 is of course already a proper certified banger and now it's even more glorious because Oxygen OS 15 is here as in a shag load of nipple tingling bonus features. Like imagine taking one of your favourite things and then adding another of your favourite things to make it even better. Like pizza and cats. Not cats on the pizza, obviously that's just sick. Or maybe football and hentai. Now OnePlus has very kindly let me have a proper play around with Oxygen OS 15 the last few days. So here's a squint at some of the best bits. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now one of the first rather lovely things about Oxygen OS 15 is the fact that it's actually lighter than previous versions. We flop away into storage, you'll see that system files only take up 7.7 .7 gigs. So that's roughly 5 gigs less than the previous version. And it's not just lighter, Oxygen OS 15 is also smoother than before thanks to the parallel processing working in the background. So if for some reason your fingers are violently poking and swiping at that screen, trying to do many things at once, the phone can keep up with multiple animations all popping off at the same time. I have no idea why you would just sit there doing this unless you're incredibly bored, but you can't deny those animations are ridiculously slick. It's all smoother than a buttered up Barry White before one app has even finished minimising the next one's already popping into view. And Oxygen OS has had a variety of fresh animations lovingly inserted inside of it. Includes of fresh new fingerprint animations and some new charging shenanigans as well. Ooh, pretty. So yeah, Oxygen OS 15 looking pretty slick. You've also now got a clear separation of the notifications panel and the fresh new control center, which a lot of launchers are going for this division now. So like MIUI, etc. Swipe down the left side for your notifications, swipe down the right side for that control center. Of course, you can flick between the two like so. And I, that control center, absolutely packed full of different toggles and features. You can fully customize it as well if you want to, getting rid of any stuff that you don't really use. And you've got a few extra bits that you can chuck in there. And of course, as usual, you can set it so you don't have to reach all the way to the very top to swipe down that notifications panel because the OnePlus 12 is a massive prick. Just swipe from anywhere on your desktops and you can call them into action. But that is fully customizable as well. Just go to the home screen settings and then swipe down on home screen. And you can change it up to be global search or a bit of, of course, the classic Oxygen OS shelf. And the shelf hasn't changed up too much, just the general aesthetics. It's a bit more poppy. As usual, fully customizable, just long press on any widget. You can also add in a small selection of other bits. And personalization, just as important as ever here in Oxygen OS 15, is the scroll to wallpapers and style in the settings. You got the fresh new flux themes in there. Got quite a decent variety of dynamic themes to choose from. Some of them do remind me of a bit of Samsung's One UI efforts, especially these bad boys right here. You can, of course, customize them, chuck in your own pictures of your fluffy pals. So as you can see, you can have them popping right out of that frame. And it's going to be a bit bulky, so it's definitely worth sticking with more simple photos where there's not too much going on. And a lot of these do feature uh, rather full-on pre-written mantras. Be the legends, ginormous dreams, master the floor. That's one thing I definitely can't master now that I'm in my 40s. Sadly more of a stop-start trickle these days. Bound, bound, boundless. Yeah, did I mention my eyes were buggered too? You can change up the colour of these, but sadly not the actual text, which is kind of annoying. You've got various effects, so for instance, by tapping depth, you can either have your subject in front of the text, otherwise hidden behind it for whatever reason. And naturally, there's some matching always on display action. And there's a good selection of designs here, as always, including those super depressing carbon footprint ones. You can see how we're completely muffing up the earth. And gotta say, I really love the smooth, seamless transitions from the always on display to the lock screen to the desktops here in Oxygen OS 15. Just flows beautifully. And as usual, the icon's fully customizable as well. You've got a variety of different designs again. Where you can fully customize the shape. You can round off those corners a bit more, change up the shape entirely. And there's the fresh new adopt system colors option as well. You can just get rid of those bright, bold logos, so it's less distracting overall. Now, personally, I find with this setup, I end up tapping on less stuff, just the actual apps that I wanted to use in the first place. But as you can see, not all apps supported in this mode just yet. Now, in Oxygen OS 15, it's also easier to share stuff like photos, for instance, between two apps. Just go into split screen, open up the old photos app down below, select which photo you want to share, and then just drag it 
into the other app and boom, it's a cat. And I, you'll probably be shocked, shocked to hear that Oxygen OS 15 is stuffed with enough AI features to chalk a beluga. So you've got all the obvious stuff on here, like good old Gemini, of course. And you can also do a bit of circle to search just by long pressing on the navigation bar there. If you spot anything and you want to get a bit more info on it. It usually works pretty well, apart from with faces I've found, sometimes it can struggle a bit with that. To be fair, probably just doesn't realise that my face is a face. Understandable. And Oxygen OS 15 is also bringing in a rather interesting sound and feature called Intelligent Search. Now this is kind of similar to the global search you've already got on there, except apparently this can search through any document that you have stored on your phone. So for instance, if you're off on a trip and you've forgotten what time your flight is boarding, you should hopefully be able to say, you know, what time is my flight boarding? And if you've got your boarding pass on there, you should be able to scan it and tell you. So it kind of sounds similar to Google's Screenshots app, except one better, because it can search through any kind of photo or document. Unfortunately, however, Intelligent Search apparently not retro retroactively. I can never say that bloody word. Intelligent Search not coming retroactively to exist in OnePlus phones. This will be a fresh new OnePlus 13 onwards exclusive. And we've also got some fresh new AI smart artery bunged into the Notes app in Oxygen OS 15. So for instance, so you've got some homework. You're supposed to write a piece on your favorite YouTube channel. But you know, you've got more important stuff to do, like go drink white lightning in the park with your mates. Well, no worries. Just give this wee icon here a poke and then tap continue writing and Notes will finish your essay for you. And for some reason, it seems to think that my name is Morton Spurt. I'm super enthusiastic for the latest iPhones, although I have very little charisma, well, at least they got that bit right. Okay, let's try that one again. <laughs> Absolutely loving this AI. Instead of actually going onto the internet and finding facts, it's basically just pulling a lot of stuff right out of its virtual arse. You've got a couple of other AI features chucked on here, such as, for instance, the ability to spruce up any not particularly well-written bits of prose. This bit of text obviously much better written, but a little bit too formal maybe. So again, just give this a tap. Scroll down and you can have a more casual output instead. Or alternatively, you can make a bit of writing more formal if you're looking for a more professional kind of finish. And of course, Android 15 and therefore Oxygen OS 15 comes packed with various other bits, including the new theft protection feature. Now, this can apparently rather cleverly determine if one of those little dickheads on a moped has swiped your blower right out of your hand. And it does this using a variety of criteria. For instance, if the accelerometer is going absolutely apeshit and if all of your Bluetooth devices have suddenly become disconnected because your phone's buggering off down the street without you. The phone will then immediately lock down and only you will be able to unlock it so they won't have access to all of your private bits. And Find My Phone can now work even when your phone has been switched off. You'll notice as well in Oxygen OS 15, if you're playing a good bit of music or something like that, you swipe back to the desktops, you get this live alerts capsule popping up at the top, which kind of mimics Apple's float and turn notch thing, except you can actually just swipe it away and get rid of it if you want to. Otherwise, if you wanted to just quickly change track or change album or something, you can just give it a tap and as you can see there, it expands into a card. If you then give that another tap, it will fully expand into the app. And if you're not a fan or you just want to customize it, well, no worries. Just go into the settings, scroll down to notifications, and then live alerts is right there at the top. And as you can see, you can turn the live alert capsule on or off for various features. You can also have it so when you poke that capsule, it just opens the app straight away rather than buggering about with any cards. And with Oxygen OS 15, you've also got a couple of fresh new battery features. So for instance, tap your way into battery health. See in here, you've got the usual smart charging feature. You've also got a fresh new charging limit feature, which straight up stops the charging at 80% just to prevent overcharging. And as you can see there, this feature will automatically switch on if your phone has been charging for too long. So it's certainly a good idea if you want your battery health to remain good for years and years. And the OnePlus 12 has fantastic battery life anyway, so keeping it at 80% max is not a bad idea. And hey, did you think we were done with AI? We're never done with AI. So for instance, if we merrily prance our way into the Photos app, we can now edit our photos using the wonders of AI. It's a small selection of options here, including the ability to erase any reflections. Quite handy if you've shot a snap through a window, for instance. And boom, all of those pesky reflections have buggered right off. It's a very impressive effort. As you can see, there's made a considerable difference. 
I'll say there's a photo you shot on Friday night that came out a bit blurry because it was low light and there was some motion. Or you just had a few too many shandies, or hey, perhaps a little from column A, a little from column B. Well, AI and blur to the rescue. Now, sadly, as with other unblur tools, this can't work absolute miracles, but does help to lessen the blur effect at least. Just don't try applying it over and over again in the thought that it might completely sort it out because you just end up with quite freaky results. And of course, you've got the usual AI eraser shenanigans. You can just say remove people and this will smartly analyze the scene and then you can just get rid of anything you don't want. There you go. Isn't everything just much better without other people? But don't worry if you're not a fan of any of the changes that you make because you can restore previous states quite quickly and easily like so. Oh, and lastly, in that Photos app, there is now an option to share with an iPhone user if you so desire. And yes, for this to actually work, the iPhone user in question will have to download the O Plus Connect app. And you can merrily share as many files as you like. Though the only thing I'd really like to share with an iPhone user is the fact that they're paying over the odds for an inferior device. And there you have it, my lovelies. That in a tasty wee nutshell is the fresh new Oxygen OS 15, which should be coming to the OnePlus 12 and a whole bunch of other OnePlus phones imminently. Are you excited for Oxygen OS? What do you reckon of the fresh new features packed in there? Be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And stay tuned for a bit of OnePlus 13 action because that should be launching really bloody soon too. And I'd be much appreciated if you'd plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a bloody wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.